everything. Hey guys, so we're going to be going over the shift method with dealing arrays and unshift method and how to use them so that when you're trying to solve your problems, it'll be a little bit easier. So let's get started. All right guys, so let's go ahead and get started with the shift and unshift. So if you're not familiar with what shift does, let's start off by creating a basic array of numbers. We'll just go one, two, three. So we'll create our array, our array. This will be equal to one, two, three. So shift is a built-in method that allows us to remove the first element of our array. And not only does it do that, it actually will shift index spots on the other ones. So if we were to call on this one, we'll call array dot shift. What would now be the output of the array or what the array would contain rather would be the numbers two and three. One would have been deleted from it and the index values for this would now be zero and one. So everything would have shifted to the left one. So what about unshift? How does unshift work? So now when dealing with unshift, unshift is the exact opposite. It is a matter of shifting, unshifting is the word they use, but it's still shifting if you look at me, a new spot in our array. So in this case, we're actually going to put a number back into the array starting at the first value, and then it will then shift it, all the others to the right. So let's go ahead and call array dot unshift and we'll just go ahead and put the number 11 in there for whatever reason and then now what's going to happen is our output would be 11 2 3 and the index locations would still be 0 1 and 2 so you'll notice that this 0 now is 1 and this one index spot is now 2 because we have unshifted it so that's basically how shift and unshift works. And keep in mind that when you're doing this, you can also store it in variables for any reason that you may need it when solving your problems. So I hope you guys found this helpful. I'll see you in the next video.